way back a few minutes ago. It was the first song I ever wrote, Stealing My True Love Away, that one, it's called Canon. This is another song about water and uh, it's called Green Swell. It's about those times when you feel like you might have been kind of visited by someone that you've lost. And uh, lots of folk songs where people come, come back. This is a bit of that. Tom Stunier, can I please have my guitar at this monitor? Lots, please. This has heaps of chorus. It comes around again and again if you want to sing it.
This is the closest thing we played. It's a hymn. <laughs> Little bit more to, guitar, please. We're still allowed to call them hymns. Die when you die. And I would just like to tell you that you won't actually get by in the sky when you die, but there you go. There is a great song in that line of uh, songs. The best one has the title, I heard the voice of a pork chop say, come unto me and rest. Now, 
They don't write songs like that anymore. I think you'll agree. <laughs> Heady West, isn't it, Martin? Is that by Heady West? It is from One of my wonderful Heady West. Absolute musical heroes, incredible folk singer and player, virtuoso, brilliant woman. This is a song um, uh, it's, uh, in the tradition. All, all of my songs in this band seem to be about nature and how I can make it all about me, which is very human, isn't it, really? That's how we write about nature. This is no exception. There's a song called Cinnabar. Um, and it's named after a, a beautiful moth and per arguably even more beautiful caterpillar. I wish I had a larval stage as attractive as the cinnabar moth caterpillar, or any stage, actually, I would settle for. Anyway, the cinnabar, like many of our species, uh, is massively threatened because of its habitat being massively threatened. It only eats and lives on ragwort, um, which is the crown of gold that I've written about in this song. So this is a song about, about environment change and love as well. This is Cinnabar. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Nancy Kerr. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
the band. The band. Yes. <laughs> we have one more song for you. It was composed by Finley Napier. That's me. That's me. It is designed for dancing. Yeah. I know hills aren't, however. I wrote this for a for a folk rock band nine years ago. Um, and then <laughs> And then my daughter was born, and I wasn't able to be in a rock band anymore. <laughs> and it was it was better to go. It was uh, it was more effective to go out on my own with an acoustic guitar and talk a load of old toot <laughs> and sing songs about my feelings. Um, so it's, so this is a great opportunity for me um, to sing this at you. Oh, I cannot wait. Thank you. Let's see for the back park. Try some more.
Pass together, please, one more time for the incredible Magpie Arc. Oh, we'll good. do a, Here we go. I'll let you plug in, Finn, shall I? No, it's okay. <laughs> um, why change the habit of a lifetime? <laughs> ah, there we are. Um, so this is called After the Last Bell Rings, and I wrote it about this amazing pub in Glasgow called Bar Block. And it used to be... Oh! Someone knows Bar Block, that's good. If you remember, Someone knows Bar Block and they survived. If you so, remember, uh, you weren't there. Uh, there used to be a brilliant thing that happened in Bar Block around about one o'clock in the morning. All the other jam sessions from all around town would empty into the Bar Block. I ran an open mic there with a guy called Louis Abbott. And uh, Louis plays with Admiral Fallow and the two of us would run this open mic and then at midnight all the folkies would come in from the Ben Nevis Bar uh, and that was great. Fiddle players and pipers and whistle players and guitar players and uh, meeting up with all the sort of singer songwriter types that were hanging around. And then about half twelve, all the people would get kicked out of the 78, all the jazz people. And they'd turn up with their saxophones and their trumpomophones and all those things. And we would have the, the filthy five brass band, we called them. Absolutely brilliant and have these amazing sessions. And then nobody wanted to go home, even though it was three in the morning. And, this song is for the people that don't want to go home, so it's called After the Last Bell Rings. And your part is that when it gets to the chorus, you just need to be like a gospel choir and go, Let it ring with the hand movements. Whoa, let it ring. Like that. Someone's a guy up there, yeah, just smashed all it. over there it, it all over it. Backlit and everything. You look like an angel, sir. <laughs> Yeah, can we have the lights up for this? So we try to let it ring. Oh, let it ring. Feel brilliant. Here we go. Let's let's do this. I'm gonna start it. Let's let's do it cheerfully shambolic version for Beauty Fest.
Jenny Folk Festival, put your hands together for your headline act tonight, which is a good, the incredible Magpie Ark. One more time, Thank let's hear you. for the Magpie Ark. Uh, the, uh, the bad news is that's it for tonight, I'm afraid. And that's it for this year. The good news is we're back again next year. And in true Beardy Folk uh, fashion, we don't stop until you get enough. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'm not, there's no gags now, okay? The gags are finished. But I'm going to do some thank yous. Uh, uh, that's all, folks. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Hobson Court. What an amazing venue Hobson oh, Court is. Yeah. In sunny South Shropshire. You wouldn't know it was here, but when you get here, you don't want to leave. I've been here for two and a half years, and um, I will go home next week. Thanks to all the traders, the food, the bars, especially Jason on the bar. If I didn't say Jason, he'd kill me. Uh, all the medics, the security, the workshops. And most importantly, of course, all the performers, the artists. What an amazing range of music that we put on here at Birdie Folk Festival. We hope you enjoy all of that. Uh, the biggest shout out, of course, has to go to the sound and production guys. Uh, they're cheap, uh, you know, two packets of crisps and a wagon wheel. It's amazing what you can get these days. Uh, thanks to Matt, Paul, John, Paul and Ringo and all of the guys. Uh, and of course, we couldn't do this without our volunteers. Give them a huge round of applause, the volunteers that help at all the festivals, including Peter the Lizard Picker, who's on the front row. There he is, Peter. It's his first time out in four years. Well done, mate. And finally, I'd like to thank the other... There's, there's a very small team that work here at Beardy Folk Festival. It's mainly me, but there you go. And on top of that, there are one or two others. Uh, put hands together for Giles. Yay! For Big Phil. Yay! For Little John. <laughs> He's not little, really, but there we go. And most importantly, my other half, here she is, Lindsay. Yay! <laughs>